What's up everybody? Today I'm partnering up again with iDisplay for another collaborative video. Huge thank you to iDisplay for sending me a free copy to review today. Of course, all opinions will be my own. Some of you may know that 2021 has been a little bit of a crazy year and when it comes to conventions for LEGO, obviously they've been canceled. So LEGO has been making these exclusive sets like the Nebulon, which is right over here, and the Bespin Duel, which is somewhere over here. And we're gonna be taking a look at a custom display case that is wall mounted, specifically intended to display your Bespin Duel set. Now this guy right here is the best Bundle set. I believe it retailed for $39.99. Uh, Lego continues to make this, so every now and then it is in stock, so it's not really exclusive anymore, but that's besides the point. Today we're gonna be unboxing, like I said, a display case that's gonna be mounted on the wall that is intended to house the best Bundle set and ultimately just display it in a super fantastic way. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. I will also leave a link down below to the case that I'm gonna be unboxing here today, as well as the iDisplay website. You check out all the products they have to offer. They've sent me a Star Destroyer case. They've sent me Starfighter stands. They've even sent me a couple of cool minifigure display cases. So I'm a huge fan of all the iDisplay things. I recommend their products wholeheartedly, non-biased. So of course, like all iDisplay products, you do get everything uh, wrapped very nicely and tightly here. All the packaging does minimize the opportunity for anything to get damaged on the way here, which is super important. Of course, you don't want anything breaking before it even gets to you. So let's go ahead and get this guy on open here. All right, so of course you open the package here, you got all this beautiful bubble wrap, again, making sure nothing is gonna get damaged. Comes with your invoice right over here, and a packing slip, and then here is everything that we should need for the display case, wrapped super tightly, which is very important. Let's go ahead and get this guy on open here. So as per usual, everything for my display, it comes wrapped in like a saran wrap. This is just another added layer of protection. Um, this will usually prevent the items from being scratched. It's obviously of paramount importance when you're coming to a display case. So we got that out of the way and you can see here, wrapped super tight. Everything does come in there, which is nice. Everything up, it looks like there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different sections or seven different panels. Um, what's most notable is of course this guy right here. This is gonna be like the backdrop for it. And you can see here, the little square, that is actually the Bespin Duel, you know, area. So that's where Luke falls under and all that kind of stuff, which is super cool. So I think what's going to happen is there's going to be an area to display the box here and then the set here, which is super cool. But again, it comes with seven different panels. You do also get really easy step-by-step -step instructions. From experience, this is super easy to follow. Everything's labeled very nicely for you. So you really shouldn't have any problems doing that. And of course, all the iDisplay uh, products do come with all the tools that you need to assemble everything, which is nice, so you're not gonna need to buy any extra tools, screws, or anything like that. Uh, each of these panels actually has a protective film on it, so it's basically to eliminate scratches or damages. You can see here, this is a pretty transparent blue piece. Of course, this is supposed to be clear, so what you're gonna wanna do, you wanna take like a credit card or a membership card, just brush over the edge of it and it should eventually peel off. You wanna do this for every single one. Obviously, you wanna make sure that it is transparent, clear, and not like the blue filament. So I am going to get onto these instructions, begin assembling everything, and I'll of course walk you through all of the steps going forward into this build. So after about maybe 20 minutes of assembling, you essentially have three main components. Again, make sure you remove all those protective layers. You have the backboard, the frame, and then what is essentially that front display piece. You wanna make sure everything is properly connected. This is gonna be super important, of course, because you don't want that frame falling apart. The instructions are really easy to follow. The next step you're gonna to wanna to take here is take the backboard here, and you're gonna to wanna to slide it onto the top of the four section frame. They're gonna basically fit in through the holes there, which is gonna make it really easy. It should just snugly slide in. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take these little elements that actually clip in and hold the rest of the frame together. So it's gonna hold that back frame as well as the siding on the panels for the top and the left and all this kind of stuff. Gonna make sure, again, that's not gonna fall off. Very important. You do wanna make sure that all your screws are screwed in very tight. Of course, like I said, you do not want this thing falling off with your Lego set and your box, all that kind of stuff. Now, once you have the frame and then the rest of the side panels all attached together, you'll want to make sure you have screwed in the blue aspect of the display case onto the wall and then from here on it's very simple you're basically just going to drag and drop the entire frame onto the grooves that are on the wall attached to it again screwed in and then everything should fit in really really nicely it's sort of one of the greatest things i love about i display it is that everything is super easy you don't have to be a technical person to figure these things out of course you put the actual set in as well with the display set so you have the box 
and the set itself, which I find really unique, especially for a set like this, where people definitely love the set box art just as much as the actual set itself. So this is a really cool, unique idea that I'm absolutely in love with uh, from I display it. So of course, it looks beautiful. The Bespin Duel is a set that is aimed at creators and displayers who love the aspect of older more aesthetically pleasing sets that you want to take a look at that you want to sort of look at it in its entirety and having both the backdrop of the best bindul as well as an area for the box to be displayed is a really great idea that this guy will cost you 67.50 now for someone like me whose favorite movie is from empire strikes back and this is probably one of the most famous scenes and most appreciated for me this case is definitely well worth the money but that is entirely up to you i think there's a lot of uniqueness with this in that you can display both the box and the set itself side by side for me the box is equally as impressive as the set itself but thank you guys for watching once again huge thank you to iDisplay for sending this review copy you guys can check out the links down below in the description drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys later have a wonderful day peace out